Hey guys, it's Tate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about what's coming today on Thursday in FIFA 21, stuff we might be able to expect from the market with rewards, of course, being today. Also, content coming today, we'll talk about that. First, I want to take a quick look back at yesterday and just, again, just remember how that was one day for the books. Yesterday, Wednesday, with the whole The Foot web app, that whole issue going on with the debug mode, with being able to see the settings behind that, that was insane. That was crazy. Uh, EA have not said anything about that as far as I'm concerned. I really don't expect them to say anything about that uh, because that for them is just a flat mess up um, on their side of things. So we'll see if we have any other remunerations about that today from EA Sports. But again, it is Thursday and that means rewards day. Of course, if you are interested in completing that Doherty, Des Doherty SBC, as I probably will be doing for the Spurs first owner club, I'm probably going to end up getting Hart and Doherty in the team, both of these guys here uh, in the club pretty soon just for the Spurs first owner. But that was our St. Patrick's Day content yesterday on Wednesday. I don't really think that we're going to be seeing any other content released around St. Patrick's Day after the fact. I'm also kind of, I don't know if I would say impressed, but we have a legit like hub here with a, like a lot of graphics and a loading screen for St. Patrick's Day, which is, I mean, technically a one day promo, right? So I'm not sure if this is going to stay in here for a while or if this is how EA is going to try to, I guess, entice us uh, to, you know, be hyped about the content on the game. But what we're really, really hoping for today is a loading screen for foot birthday because again tomorrow friday is the legit anniversary of fifa ultimate team's first day back in 2009 so it's just written in the stars that foot birthday should be coming but unfortunately it's looking like right now that hope is pretty glim so today is our last chance and maybe getting a glimmer of hope of that promo with some sort of loading screen some sort of pat code being added as of right now there is nothing. So right now we are on thin ice and we are not seeing any hints for foot birthday, which could mean another very quiet weekend on FIFA if that is the case. Hopefully that is not the case, but uh, we will kind of, of course, get involved with that when the time comes. Now I want to talk about two major items today. And I already mentioned them. First one is player of the month, league one, and also the uh, Europa League road to the final games that are being played today on Thursday. Two big, big things coming today. Now, first thing I want to look at is where you can find the announcement for League One Player of the Month. This website or this Twitter page right here at UNFP uh, always tweets out the winners of the Player of the Month pronto, like right away. Uh, and I want to kind of note this time, right? This uh, Bulaya was tweeted out a month ago on 1.04 p.m., which is 6.04 p.m. UK time. So they tweeted out this stuff actually after the SBC was loaded into the game. Now, I don't know if that's going to be different today. Of course, we have got the nominees, Ben Yedder, Mbappe, and Depay, but we are expecting the League One Player of the Month SBC today. Today, that SBC should be dropping. So um, that would be another big-time SBC that could be coming into FIFA Ultimate Team today. Um, of course, with a lot of market movements now, of course, watch like um, Mbappe special cards. I would watch Depay special cards and Ben Yedder as well. If the guys, uh, if there's panic selling any of those, the guys that do not win, for sure, I would think you'd see a small bounce back on those, especially if it's like a Ben Yedder headliner or whatever. Uh, but that's one sort of big part of content that we could see coming today. Uh, and then also, I forgot to mention this right away, but Icon Player SBCs. Now we have had Balak, Costa, Schmeichel, Nedved, Puyol, and Clivert all released in the past two weeks. Two Thursdays in a row in the past two weeks, we have had Icon Moments Player SBCs. I really, really hope that this trend continues. EA Sports, if you would please drop another set of three Icon Moments SBCs today, that would be fantastic, right? Now, I'm kind of hoping this happens, hoping this comes out today. Um, you know, it's kind of like EA for the last two weeks has been operating on what they used to do for Icon SBCs. They used to do like a throwback Thursday concept, and hopefully that is kind of what they're doing right now. So we possibly could see three more Icon Moments SBCs released today and that would be really hype if they did that again it's a lot about sbcs today right play the month mbappe big time sbc coming out maybe some icon sbcs i would expect some sort of like maybe a pack supply sbc as well um and then we will get a new set of marquee matchups sbcs coming out today as well so some pack supply for everything that is in packs 
um, today with the normal marquee matchups. Now, besides that, other things that are happening today, we've got rewards, of course, and we've got Europa League Road to the Final. Europa League Road to the Final with this game right here being the one that everybody has their eyes on. That is right. We have Milan versus Manchester United, and this Cassie card is up. This guy's 480,000 coins at the moment. I think people are really expecting uh, Milan to go through. Now, of course, it's a very, very close one, right? First leg was a one-to-one, -one, but Milan have that away goal advantage, I believe. And now again, this game is being played at Milan. So if um, depending on how this game goes today, you're going to see a lot of market movements with this Kessie card with the Rebic road to the final and with Rashford. Now, the odds have kind of flipped from where it was the other way around. Heading into the first leg, you had this Rashford card that was chilling at about 1.2 million coins. And you had that Kessie card that was chilling at about, I don't think it's like 400,000 coins or 420k or something like that. And now this Rashford is down about 100k. He was lower and Kessie is up like 50, 60,000 coins. So people are favoring Milan right now. So what I would 100% do today is keep an eye on these Road to the Final items because they're going to be crazy to trade with. Now, of course, we have got four games happening early today. Four games at... Um, 5.55 p.m. UK, which would be 1.55 p.m. my time with the time change. Arsenal, Olympiacos, so you've got Road to the Final, Aubameyang. You've got Tottenham in there, of course, so Road to the Final, Sissoko. You've got Roma and Shakhtar Donetsk in the first set, so you've got Road to the Final, Perez. Then you've got Milan, Milan and Manchester United, who we just talked about. And then uh, that's technically the only live cards that are in the second set of games because, of course, Promes and um, Kubo are not live. So, the live items are affected the most in the first three games today. That will be with Aubameyang, Sissoko, um, and the Roma right back, Mr. Bruno Perez. So keep an eye on these items today, right? If a team is a heavy favorite, I'm not expecting too many price fluctuations. This Aubameyang is, is way high as it is. Now, again, there is going to be a draw involved on Friday, I believe, for the Champions League and for the Europa League as we head into the next round of the tournament. So there's going to be more price fluctuations on these road to the finals based off of the teams and the draws that they get for that next round. So that's going to be something that we keep an eye on. But this stuff is really going to come back into perspective today, really going to start getting hyped again and uh, all of that. So 100%, we'll be doing that on stream, looking at those cards live during the game. So that is one thing to keep an eye on today. That's where a lot of the hype is going to be today on the market. The also, obviously, since it's Thursday, Rewards Day, the hype is going to be on the uh, rewards right now. Team of the Week right now, I was trying to flip these guys a little bit earlier. I'm actually taking some losses because these guys have gotten rare, but their prices aren't going up when they're getting rare tonight. They're li literally just chilling, right? Um, so I'm taking a lot of tax losses. Lautaro, I had a couple at even 450. Uh, I was hoping to get out at like 470, 480, and he just keeps getting undercut, which is interesting. I think the whole time frame uh, yesterday and Wednesday with um, the UEFA marquee matchups being released late might have hurt these guys a little bit in terms of going back up in price. But of course, these guys are going to get supplied a lot today with rewards. I'm really curious about this Waman card because if you're awake for rewards today, maybe when you're watching this video, 100% watch the supply on Jota, Martinez, De Bruyne, um, Tierney, and Waman because again, those are very, very meta cards that a lot of people want to use in their teams. Especially this guy, 14,000 upvotes, man. This has to be a record for like one of the most highly upvoted players in footbin history in this short amount of time. He's being hyped up by a lot of other YouTubers and just in the FIFA community. The five star skills and the 98 pace, uh, and honestly, 99 agility, 92 dribbling, 90 finishing as well. This, this card's kind of cracked. Um, this is giving me like crazy. Lozano super sub vibes if he is really really that good in game so since there's a lot of demand here he's going to get packed a lot during rewards today watch that guy for a lot of, of uh, undercuts and being packed from team of the week packs and then as people um, list those up and stuff potentially a big time to buy after an hour or two or three hours after the rewards do drop this morning on Thursday same thing with a lot of those meta cards that I was just mentioning right Jota De Bruyne, Lautaro, and Tierney. Uh, one thing I would take a look at is SBC Fodder Informs, right? This um, this goalkeeper right here, he has a max price of 30K. So I'm not sure what EA is doing with this, but that is a an error on their part. Again, another reason not to like price ranges. But Weghorst and Coop Miners are both 
basically discard value some of the cheapest 86 rated informs in the game and think about what we have coming out today. Mbappe player of the month or whoever it is for League One probably going to require some informs, right? If there are more icon SBCs, probably going to require some more informs. And of course, as we head later into this game in the next couple of weeks, informs just rise out of packs anyway. Definitely keep an eye on these cards today, whether you're buying close to discard ones down here, like for these 81 rated cards, as close to about discard as you can get, or if you're buying 84s, as close to like 20, 25K as you can get, and then 86s maybe in like the low to mid 40s, 100% uh, keep an eye on those cards today. They're gonna get supplied during rewards listed up, and uh, especially on open bid. They're going to get packed and uh, with more SBCs coming, that could be a spot of the market where you want to watch today as well. Same thing with SBC fodder, right? We talk about supply and rewards day. 86 has went down a lot today with the uh, supply from the UEFA marquee matchups down to 388 points. Now back up to 400 people, maybe doing some SBCs because prices have dropped a little bit. If we take a look at some of the popular players here, some of the SBCs that have dropped in price. Um, I was just looking at, I think Messi's player of the month card is down like 50 to 60,000 coins. Cavani's only 400 K right now. So that is a little bit cheaper, uh, than he was earlier, just at the actual SBC, uh, price value, which we kind of just followed those Busquets is 160. That's down like 10, 15,000 coins. So some of these SBCs have gotten a little bit cheaper with fodder dropping. I might expect a little bit of that to happen again during rewards, just because I do think there will be some people that open packs. Uh, also, there will be some people who don't open packs and will be saving those packs for a potential promo later uh, on this weekend, which leads me to talk about something else. Are we going to get foot birthday this Friday? That is the million dollar question. Are we going to get foot birthday and what's it going to be like if we don't? Well, if we don't, this game is already feeling like it's on the out. This is one of the worst weeks for EA Sports ever. And it's almost just like EA, you need to drop a promo. Like, please drop some content for us. I mean, I've seen multiple big time content creators. I'm not going to drop any names, but I've seen multiple big time content creators tonight tweeting out about how we need content in FIFA. There's not a lot to do. EA Sports drop us something, right? So, I mean, that's what we're really looking for right now in FIFA is just something to do. And I feel like a lot of people, EA has set themselves up for failure when they do this, when they don't release content for a while, we're sitting here like expecting it because it's it's been continually pushed out. Every week there's a promo or, you know, these two week promos come out every two weeks. And now we haven't had one for a week and a half, almost two weeks. And if they do that again, that's going to be pretty crazy, and I think it might push some people over the edge, honestly, um, in this game. But that's like the number one thing that everybody is looking forward to today, some sort of foot birthday loading screen, some sort of foot birthday hint, clue, or anything about a promo that could be happening this weekend. Now, if they don't do foot birthday this weekend, even though it would make the most sense in the world to drop that promo, um, I guess they could drop still some sort of like best of promo, but again... I just feel like we're scratching for things at this point and just hoping for something um, because we just want something, right? And that's what everybody wants right now in FIFA. We want a promo and we just have not been getting it. We have not been getting that stuff, that content from EA that we truly want. But again, today with the market, I do expect a little bit of a rise. Once I sell these informs, I'm going to be surfing around and looking for some cards that I think could rise a little bit today because of those weekend league plus objectives. Now, I know there's just not a lot of hype in this game right now, so you're probably going to have to pick and choose which spots you want to be involved in. Now, there were some what if upgrades that happened earlier today, and some of these cards are down a decent amount. This is um, prospect numero uno, who is down a lot after his upgrade, who has actually just bounced back. But this Sancho card, 1.05 mil, he was literally down to a million coins uh, for a long while, right before rewards, 1.05. And then there's nothing to 1.1, really. So Sancho is actually looking interesting right now. Only a few cards to 1.1. So the bounce back is happening on that card right there. I was looking at Odegaard, who was like 480,000 coins uh, pre-upgrade. He's now down to about 440K where he's been chilling. But I do think you might see some of these guys rebound. It's what we saw last week. After the upgrades happened, they dropped down and they actually rose back up later because people were like, hey, that card looks pretty sick. Now, one person that is in a lot of people's um, eyes right now is this Berchiche card because coming in at 120,000 coins, this card is miles better than informed Jordi Alba, who was released last week. 
and is about 30k cheaper. So this card, in my opinion, once the supply kind of dries up a little bit and maybe some reviews get out and it gets talked about a little bit more, 115 for this card, I'm gonna pick that up because um, this guy was like 123, 124,000 coins when the upgrade um, was about to come out. And I think this card is too cheap. I really think this card is a little bit too cheap right now. 111 on an undercut right there for Berchiche. I might have to snag one of these, even though I'm on a low coin amount just because this is probably one of the best, if not the best left back in the La Liga. And of course, besides Ferland Mendy, I mean, you're probably playing this guy at center back, right? That's the thing to do this year. High, medium work rates uh, with the pace. This guy at center back with those statistics right there is going to be a really, really solid card considering this game's meta. So I do think you will see some people trying to play this guy at uh, center back, actually, which makes him a very interesting play. I do think there's a possibility if we don't get a big promo this weekend that some of these what if cards, people will just buy them up and try them. Same thing with icons and icon moments, right? Um, because icon moments, people still want to try some of those cards out. There's still demand for those on this market. So kind of like what we saw last week, and if there is no promo, uh, you might see some of these cards, some of the really rare and meta stuff, if we don't get some insane content uh, start to go up. Now, I knew this was going to rise today. This Keen, he was about a mil, about to about 1.1, or back up to about 1.1. That was a GG if you were able to flip any of those. Uh, but yeah, a lot of stuff today. I do think we'll have a small rise in the market on some of these out of pack special cards, just because, you know, weekend league right now, that is something that people are, are playing for the extra weekend league player picks. Even though we didn't get a Ronaldo or a Messi or even a Benzema in this week's team of the week, pretty bad team of the week, but still uh, there's a little bit of hype there. And I do think you will see people go out and play some weekend league or they'll just honestly stop playing. It's going to be one of those two things, in my opinion, uh, going on right now. So obviously there's not a ton to talk about in terms of like actual stuff to be prepared for on FIFA. Just get on the bids again, right? Bids are your best friend and uh, don't overthink the market in these times, right? Focus on the stuff that is hyped. Like I kind of overthought it today with some of these informs trying to flip these guys. Um, and when I just knowing that, hey, flipping these cards probably wasn't the best decision because there's not that much hype. They were very rare right away. Like I got these Jotas right around 220K. And yes, I would love to sell them at 240, but I don't think he's going to get back up there. I just feel like a lot of this stuff was just too expensive today and there wasn't enough hype to keep it higher. So I'm going to take my L here and move on and continue to make trades and not get stuck in a rut, right? That's the biggest thing. If you get stuck in a rut, losing coins, um, it can really impact your mentality. So I'm not going to do that. Move on, make some more coins. So hopefully we get some more information today related to foot birthday and um, promo, at least something, right? Just do best of or something. EA, something this Friday is what we're hoping for in FIFA. So again, stuff we might see today, of course, rewards, good luck with your red picks uh, and stuff like that. You might see Icon Moments SBCs, another throwback Thursday type thing, player of the month in Bappe, and of course, Europa League Road to the final action with those live items moving around a decent amount live. We'll be looking at those on stream, of course, link below Link below in the description. If you enjoyed this video, hit a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.